Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com. Thank you for joining me for another day at the Day at the Range Reloading Bench. So what do we have on the bench with us today? As you can see by the box, the outside says Ruger SR 1911. Well, why would I be so late to be doing an unboxing for a Ruger SR 1911 as they've been out for almost seven years now. Um, what would be so special about this one? Let's open the box and see. Let's see, what do we have in here? All right. By the way, this is, again, the first uh, official unboxing. So I have no notes on this thing. Uh, I have no idea what it's going to look like. No idea what's in the box. So you're going to see, just like my written reviews at dayattherange.com, a truly unbiased view as I go. Uh, so first, uh, what do we have here? Normal paperwork. Uh, I'm not sure what this attention tab is here. Uh, what, is it? what does it read? Attention. Congratulations on the purchase of your new stainless steel firearm. While stainless steel is a rust-resistant it is not rust proof. Stainless steel is still susceptible to rust or corrosion, especially if subjected to humidity, perspiration, and certain chemicals. To avoid damage, proper cleaning and care should be maintained throughout the life of the firearm. So uh, Ruger is reminding us here with this uh, attention. I, I wonder why they did that. I'd be curious to know. Uh, they're reminding us that stainless steel uh, is just rust resistant, not rust proof. So be aware, and for those that go out and uh, obtain this firearm from Ruger, comes with all the normal jazz manuals, etc., that you probably should read uh, at some point that I hardly ever do. Anyways, don't be like me. Uh, let's get to the rest of the unboxing. So what's in this thing? Uh, wrapped up in this plastic, Looks like, looks like the new um, Ruger Target has the Target black grips, black rubber grips, has the Target uh, rear sight here that's adjustable. Huh, looks like the normal Ruger, but this is the Ruger Target. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, bull barrel, bull barrel, no bushing. Uh, what, what's going on here? Ah, there you have it. This is the Ruger SR 1911 in 10 millimeter, as you can see there on the barrel. First and foremost, we'll go over, we'll do a slight overview of the external and then we'll take it apart and see what else is in the box. But before we do so, we better make sure this thing is safe since it is truly my first time handling it. Uh, magazine, eight shot there. I thought it came with two magazines. Uh, there's the other magazine down in there. So two eight shot magazines. Um, the weapon is clear, as you can see. Yep, whole finger check, it's clear. And as you can see there, bull barrel again. So let's go over some of the features uh, externally. First and foremost, the slide to frame fit is spectacular. Ruger's done an outstanding job there. As you can see, they had a lot of oil on it and leaving the factory. They've done an outstanding job there. Uh, checking the breech face to muzzle hood fit is a very, very tight. When looking at the breech face and muzzle fit, you'll notice a loaded chamber indicator and as you can see there is not a round in the barrel. This is a stainless steel barrel from Ruger. The black is a nitride finish. I suspect the reason Ruger built this in a bull barrel, you can see here how thick that barrel is compared to other 10 millimeter 1911 barrels. The bull barrel is thicker. It puts a lot more weight out front and probably helps 
with the recoil of the powerful 10 millimeter. But we won't know that until we get it out at the range to put a few rounds down range. But I truly suspect it probably helps with the muzzle flip. As you can see there, stainless steel, full length guide rod. Uh, what's that hole there? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, on the 10 millimeter, since there is no bushing, there is a spring that should be in here somewhere or something that looks like a paper clip. I believe it's right here. Yeah. Um, this paper clip looking item will fit down in the hole of the full length guide rod to aid in disassembly, which we'll get to here in a little bit. But we're gonna finish discussing and doing a little bit of an overview of the external. So as you can see here with a normal grip, you have an external slide stop, extended slide stop, shall I say. Gosh, I don't know why I lost my uh, frame of thought there, but all the external mechanisms to operate this 1911 are extended. Extended mag stop or slide stop, geez. Extended slide stop, extended safety, easy to operate, and extended magazine catch. And as you see, we've removed the magazine out already. And there you have an aluminum trigger. And as you can see, uh, travel is adjustable. You have a travel stop there. Uh, that's adjustable on the SR 1911 and 10 millimeter high beaver tail grip safety as well Along with black rubber grips. I would have preferred wood and probably will change it out to wood at some point uh, But that's neither here nor there again Ruger probably did this to keep costs down for one and two also for the grip to get a full grip on the 10 millimeter, the powerful 10 millimeter. As you can see here, adjustable rear target sight and also Novak front sight. I would have much preferred in looking at this thing, first time out the box again, I would have much preferred a dot sight to improve upon my sight picture. But again, Ruger somewhat has this thing built like a, um, like a target pistol, and I've never really seen 10 millimeters used for target. But we definitely will get it out to the range and see how it does on the range. Um, very refined, I see no machine marks. You have the magazine is flared, the magazine well is flared, flat mainspring here on the back that is checkered and grips well, doesn't hurt the hand under full grip, full high grip. Um, a very nice looking pistol from the outside. Now let's see if we can get this thing apart without me embarrassing myself on camera. Um, because this is a little bit different than the traditional 1911. So this spring, which could be a paper clip could be used just as well, rides underneath or rides inside the hole there and on the underneath the full length guide rod, steel full length guide rod. Now, you will let the slide down, and as you can see there, it pushes forward pretty easy. Makes it easy to adjust for the slide stop to come out, if I can align it. Slide stop comes out very easy. You don't have things popping out all over the place. Now, it all comes out pretty simple. There's the frame. Upon initial investigation, I see nothing out of spec. Um, of course, it's hard to do that unless you're a trained gunsmith. Um, but for me, just to the eye, I see nothing really wrong with the frame at all. Uh, it is very refined. No machine marks anywhere. Unlike a Colt Delta Elite that I recently reviewed, here on the bench that had a ton of machine marks in it and had to go back to Colt. But neither here nor there, we're talking about this Ruger SR 1911 today. Uh, and here, let's see if we can get this thing apart. Slide the barrel back. 
stainless steel guide rod should push in, slide the link up. This should slide right out. Everything captured, you can see, goes on one way. The groove there slides on top of the barrel, fits back in just as easy as it came out. And then you slide the link down and push the barrel out just like you would on a normal 1911. There it is. Bull barrel. Look at the beefiness of that bull barrel. Obviously shot at the factory. Ramped barrel, of course. And you guys know I'm pretty particular about safety, so I have no ammo on the bench. I never do when I'm out here. Um, this, is, this one's obviously been shot, but when out on the range, off camera, or maybe we'll get it on camera, we'll test the um, support for the 10 millimeter, the chamber support for the 10 millimeter while out on the range. Man, that barrel's dirty. But nice, nitride finished bull barrel. Here is the slide. No evident machine marks. A lot of oil from Ruger. It came this way. As you can see here, this is a Series 70s pistol. The Series 70 and the main difference from the Series 80 model is that the Series 70 lacks a trigger plunger that's usually about right here, a little round plunger right here and inside the slide, the associated linkage parts that go with it. Most of the 1911 purists, uh, and I don't say that to demean anyone, but most of the 1911 purists out there will prefer the Series 70's model. It's supposedly easier to do trigger jobs and get the trigger the way you want it. And out of the box, the Series 70 is supposed to have a better trigger than the Series 80's pistol. No machine marks. This is well done. Really well done by Ruger. And as you can see there, internal extractor. The one thing I did notice is that Ruger, for some reason, didn't lower the ejection port a whole lot. I mean, I, I would have liked to seen that ejection port lowered a little bit more to keep from beating up my 10 millimeter brass as the 10 millimeter brass is expensive and typically with these 1911s uh, 10 millimeter man it throws brass all over the place how many um, help in retaining their brass is typically by putting in a stronger recoil spring um, that prevents brass being thrown so far I suspect out of the factory and we'll see if we can catch that on camera out at the range that this thing throws brass into the next county almost but really, really well done by Ruger. Nicely finished, no machine marks. We'll try to get this thing together right quick, see what else is in the box, and uh, head out to the range for a quick review and stop boring you guys with this tabletop. Barrel back in, slide the linkage up. There we go. All right, now turn it over. All back together. The spring is still in there. You wanna make sure your linkage is down and aligned. Align your slide to the frame. Now you're gonna install your slide stop. Once everything is perfectly aligned, you want to try to keep from putting that idiot mark on there that someone has already put on here. Here we go. Easy in. Push forward. Outstanding. Locks in place. Now we slide it back to remove the spring. From there, we remove the spring. Down. And she's ready to go ready to head to the range. 
with the Ruger SR1911 in 10 millimeter. The Ruger SR1911 in 10 millimeter bull barrel nitride finish on the barrel, ready to head to the range for our range review. Thanks to dayattherange.com for enabling this review. And thank you for joining me today for this tabletop or reloading bench review, because this happens to be my reloading bench, of, again, the SR1911 and 10 millimeter from Ruger. Ruger, made in the USA. Mr. Revolver Guy with dayattherange.com.